Hi guys and welcome back. In the previous part we have installed our Eclipse with the Subversion plugin and now it's time to discuss the Maven build tool as the most essential part of almost every Java project. Uh, there, there's several build tools exist from the Apache, like Apache Ant, but we'll use the Maven tool at the more high-tech. If you like, you can go to the wiki and get closer look of all of its features and get whole idea of build tools, but we'll focus on using it. Uh, first of all, we need to download the Maven binaries and then perform some configuration. Let's start from the downloading and uh, just go to the Google again and type in Maven download and the first link is correct I think we'll try to use the third version and we need the binary zip click to the link pick the mirror go to the folder just simple extraction and now we have extracted our maven and uh, need to perform some environment variable configuration and to do so we go to the environment variables And we need to create new variable called maven underscore home and then point to the I'm sorry just checking if it's recording um, and then point to the our maven installation folder uh, root folder so let's create it and call it maven underscore home Let's copy the Maven root folder here. That's our first variable and the second variable already exists and it is a path variable. Let's go and edit it. Go to the very end and do it that way. Let's just copy this ex as example and correct these to maven home and point to the bin folder where, where the maven all batch files are stored so click OK I think we have done all things click OK and let's test if it works uh, to do so we go to the command line and just type in MVN Maven that's a command we will use and uh, let's just try to get the version and if you see the response then that means that Maven is installed correctly and all variables are uh, configured cor correctly to use Maven easy way, we will add Maven plugin to the Eclipse so that we can build our projects in Eclipse without going to the command line. Let's close this command line. I'll well, install Maven. And let's open Eclipse we have previously installed. install new software and we need the update site let's search for our update site the plugin is called M2 Eclipse that way download ok 
here's our update site let's it type in hit enter and wait for the response and here the response so we need to install the, the Maven integration for Eclipse hit next next agree with license We start the eclipse. You might experience some exceptions during eclipse startup if you haven't configured your eclipse right way. I if you have an error during startup. Um, you should configure Eclipse to use the GDK instead of uh, Java Runtime environment. Uh, so uh, I have done it in the previous part of this tutorial. I'll just sh show you it again. Um, go to the Eclipse installation folder. Open the Eclipse configuration file and if you do not have these lines um, started by the VM variable and then the path to the your uh, GDK Java W dot executable then you should uh, add this uh, that should fix the problem and no more warnings will bother you so now you know it let's close it and uh, Let's check it out how we have installed our plugin. Just close the welcome screen and uh, try to create new project. Other type in ma Maven and you see that you have new options. Uh, you can create the Maven project and that means the plugin is installed correctly. You can uh, also if you have any if you have projects already created you can also reference the uh, additional options which has been added by the maven plugin uh, we will see it later when you build when you build uh, the project for the first time maven will create the library repository on your local machine and store all downloaded libraries there yeah that's correct maven will download download all rec required libraries automatically from the remote maven repository um, you do not need to search for libraries manually and adding them to the class path the maven uh, will do it um, in instead of you i'll just show you where the all libraries are stored on your local machine it's a uh, your uh, it is your um, windows 
um, account and there's a folder called .m2 um, it can be empty for the first time I have already have it full of libraries and uh, and uh, additional settings um, you you do not have to add these settings it's just for my work it's a uh, custom uh, settings required by projects adding uh, new additional uh, internal maven repositories so on, uh, here's the folder that uh, stores all the packages with the jar libraries so you can find here all li libraries you download my maven has been downloaded previously like an uh, let's try chrome adob lifecycle and you see that here's the libraries jar and uh, maven when maven will create some uh, projects in eclipse it will uh, automatically reference uh, these libraries in your local repository and uh, it will copy all, all the required libraries to the our web archive when the build is performed all configuration will be done in the project object model that's a uh, simple XML file where we can uh, define our dependencies and uh, Maven will download it automatically so that is about Maven we will return to it later when we will create our first project now this is uh, just introduction to Maven and uh, now you know that Maven is the very powerful build tool Maven is used to compile projects to package it and uh, to re release projects and many other functions like documentation pages and all that stuff you can uh, read in the uh, official manual or in the wiki pages this is the end of the third part see you next in the fourth part where we will install the additional plugin plugins to the Eclipse like uh, Spring Tool Suite and, uh, and uh, probably many others and uh, in, the next tutor in the next part of the tutorial we will uh, configure Eclipse to work with Tomcat application servers so, so that we can uh, control the Tomcat application server from the Eclipse so see you in the next part see you